Infamous First Light is a standalone DLC that explains the story of Abigail Walker, aka Fetch, a supporting character from Infamous Second Son. This game is definitely Fetch's story. There are no good or evil decisions here like in Second Son. I understand what the developers were trying to accomplish here, showing us just what kind of person Fetch is, but this also hurts the game's replay value. Hardcore fans of Infamous will probably beat this game in a day. But 100%ing the game and fighting in the battle arena will extend your playtime. The combat of First Light is easy to learn and really fun. It will be familiar to anyone who played Second Son, but it feels different at the same time. Since you're playing as Fetch this time around, you have to rely on the Neon Tower only. It can be used to fire rapidly, or you can zoom and use it for sniping. No two battles feel the same, mostly because enemies will have different weak spots. You don't always aim for the head, you have to shoot at arms and legs too. The voice acting is good, and so is the story. It's emotional, and you really feel sorry for Fetch. Most missions have a cliffhanger at the end of them. I wanted to keep playing through the main story after each mission, but I would sometimes get wrapped up just running around and doing the little side missions. They're short, but fun. Traversing the city is easy with the neon power. You run super fast and can run up walls even. It really doesn't take that long to get where you need to go. There's a good sized area here to explore, but there aren't as many extra missions as I would like. It didn't take me long to gather all the collectibles and finish the 30 second missions that are spread throughout Seattle. You also can't go to the other half of Seattle, like in Second Sun, which is disappointing. Seattle seems dark and depressing, even in the daytime. It really fits the story. There isn't a lot of color until combat starts, but damn, the combat is beautiful. First Light has a nice skill tree, and it's actually pretty big. Unless you really love the battle arena, you'll finish this game before finishing the skill tree. After each fight in the battle arena, I had more skill points to spend. It became strategic, deciding where I would spend them before the next battle. It's a lot of fun, really, especially if you like to climb leaderboards or beat out your friend's scores. First Light is the perfect starting point for someone new to the series. It won't give away any serious spoilers to Second Son, and it ends right where Tell Second Son begins. What also, where it's a standalone DLC, you don't have to okay. own Second Son to purchase it. If you do own it though, you can actually play as Delson in the battle arena. All of Delson's powers are here, and you can even select to play as a hero Delson or an infamous Delson. Photo mode does return in first light. Here are a few screenshots I took while using it. I highly recommend you use photo mode for a few minutes to see what kind of images you can make. It's very easy and fun. This was actually the first time I ever used photo mode. I'm actually really proud of these images. First Light is a really good game and, like I said, a perfect starting point for newcomers to the series. $15 is a tad pricey for such a short game, but I think with the inclusion of the battle arena and a platinum trophy to earn, it's worth it. I give Infamous First Light an 8 out of 10. I won't go so far as to say it's a must-own game for PS4 owners, but it isn't a bad purchase by any means. Thank you so much for watching, I greatly appreciate it. Subscribe if you want to see more videos from me, I'll try to slap together whatever I can. And as usual, I'll leave a link in the description to my Twitter account, Twitch account, and my gaming blog. Again, thanks for watching.